Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back for another video. For those of you that may be watching for the first time, my name's Nancy and I'm with Nancy's Original Art. Also, for those of you that are new and for those that are not new but have not done it yet, I would please really love it if you would please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications so that you know every time I post a video. Now for this particular painting, I've decided tonight that I am going to do an 18 by 24. And if you saw in the last video, I actually somewhat changed my composition. I'm going to do something similar tonight as far as the composition. As far as the colors though, they are going to be slightly different. So, I've already flooded my canvas and I used my little miniature blowtorch and I was able to get out most of the bubbles. You always want to take your blowtorch and once you flood the canvas, you run the blowtorch over the paint and blow out the bubbles. Now for my base, I am using my Artist Loft Titanium White. As far as my other colors go, I'm not doing blues tonight. I've decided to do purples with a little bit of pink in there. So for my for my colors tonight, I am doing the Artist Loft Light Violet. Hopefully you can see those. It's Artist Loft Light Violet. Then I'm going to throw in some metallic purple, Artist Loft brand metallic purple. Then I am throwing just a little bit of pink. I am actually doing the Liquitex Basics Medium Magenta. It's kind of a darker pink. Then I'm going to add the Deco Art Rose Gold. Deco Art Rose Gold. I thought that would be pretty in it tonight. And the last color I'm using, but not the least, it's the Artist Loft Violet. Artist Loft Violet. Now, this one, I'm hoping I have enough because I went to shake it and it sounds like it's a little low. So, and yes, you are seeing me actually wearing an apron. The last video I did, the shirt I was wearing, if you noticed, I kept having to go like this to try to keep it out of my painting because it's more of a flary shirt and it was kind of moving all over. So I decided maybe it was best to start wearing an apron. Now I did notice right in here, I need to fix my edge a little. This is why I have a smaller squeeze bottle that's got the same color as the base. And remember, Whenever you're using your squeeze bottles, you want to not open it over the painting. Now in this case, it was the same as the base, so it was okay. But once you're done, close the cap and wipe the tip. Now, since I did that, let me just pop those bubbles. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna get started by putting our first color down. And it is the light, or the, yes, the Artist Loft Light Violet. And I'm going to start, I think right about here. And we're just gonna run it down to about right there, whoops. Yep, I got some white. Give me just a second. 
sometimes when you go to put your paint down, if you get it too close to the other color and you release the squeeze, it'll suck up the base into the cap. And you don't want that. Okay. Now for the next spot, let's fix that area. Okay. I think the next little bit, I'm going to do one that kind of comes out this way, like that. And let's do one that kind of comes out this way. Okay? These are what we call little wispies. Alright? Next is going to be the metallic purple. And I'm almost out of it too. So hope I have enough to be able to do this, at least. I gotta get some more paints is what I gotta do. I'm running low on my actual, the paints that I use to make my colors. Okay, and then we've got the Liquitex Basics Medium Magenta. Nice. Next, we're going to do the rose gold. Now, as you're seeing me, I am shaking my paints right before I put them down, and there's a reason for that. Especially when it comes to, like, the rose gold, my sterling silver, and my 24 karat gold. Those actually tend to separate. They're made a certain way, and so it might have a little water in with it, maybe some kind of oils, but I notice that they tend to separate. So you want to make sure that you shake them really good before you go using them. This is the one I'm really worried may not have enough. And yay. Whoop. Yep. It ran low. I am out. Well, let's hope it works. I'm going to have to make sure I get more of the violet next time I go shopping. Okay, so once again, you're going to take and you're gonna use your little mini blowtorch and you're just gonna go through and you're just gonna pop all the little bubbles. And you wanna to try to get the majority of the bubbles. You may miss a couple, but you wanna make sure that you get as many of them popped as you can. All right. And for some reason, my blowtorch It does not go out immediately. All right, now comes the fun. We're gonna actually blow this puppy out. Now, the hair dryer that I am using is the Flower Hair Dryer by Drew Barrymore, and it's actually sold at any local Walmart. I got mine for under 30 bucks. So now, Let's get to blowing this out. I think, hmm, not quite sure where I'm going to start. Maybe I'll go this way first, and then I'll take this one, and then I'll go this way, all the way down, and then go this way. I think that's the way I'm going to do it.
Okay. It's not too bad, but it's not as good as I was hoping, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second. There was a bubble there that needed popped. The issue tonight, and you know, things happen. Sometimes you misjudge. And for me, I got too much base towards the center of the painting. Sometimes, like I said, you can misjudge. You may not think you have enough down and you'll put just a little too much in there. The colors though are great, but unfortunately, because of the fact that I had so much base, there's a lot of white where the colors should have actually been. But again, it's not that bad. What I can do, and I don't recommend it all the time, but once in a while, you'll see some of the white parts and you'll see where it looks like the color's trying to pull through. So when that happens, you can actually take your blowtorch and you just put it over the area where you think the colors are gonna pop through and you might actually get some of that color popping out. You might begin to see some of the color coming through. In this case, it did somewhat work. Not as well as I was hoping, but it did actually somewhat work. Some of the color did pop through the white. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to bring you down for a close up and you be the judge. Leave a comment for me. Let me know what you think of it. Give me a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. See right in there, there's an awful lot of white, but I was able to take the blowtorch and the color right there did kind of pop through a little, but not as well as I was hoping. But you never know. What I don't think came out good, somebody else might really like. You just never know when you're doing these paintings. And I'm going to be honest with you all. I've only been doing this for a little over a year. And it does take practice. And the more you do it, the better you become. And if you had seen some of my paintings from when I very first started, oh my word. I'm going to turn the flash on. So that you can see that shimmer. See right in there? That shimmer that pops up? That is the rose gold and the metallic purple. It's got that shimmer. And once this painting gets resined, which I actually have several paintings that I've got to get resin. But once I put the resin, that shimmer is really going to show. Right there again, that rose gold mixed with that metallic purple. Nice. Some more of it. Let 
But yes, whenever you're doing these paintings, you always want to make sure that you're not getting too much base. And in this case, I misjudged. Okay. This is one of my very first paintings I ever attempted. Can you see the difference from this one and the one I just did tonight? Big difference. This is one just a couple months in. I started to improve, but still not where I wanted to be. This was just a few weeks ago. So see, as you get to doing them, and the more you do them, the better you become at it. So there you have it, another painting done. The more I look at it, the more I do like it. I'm just one of these that I like more color. When I'm blowing it out, I want all the colors to be able to blow out and look beautiful. But again, everyone has their own preference as to what they like. If anyone is interested in this just drop me an email if i remember i will put my email in this video and again for anyone that's interested please drop me an email i'll be able to tell you the price if you say yes i will find out what the shipping is and i'll be able to tell you the total cost with the shipping again this is an 18 by 24 painting and it will get a coat of resin now the reason that we put resin over the top of them it is not only does it really make the metallic colors pop but it also protects the painting keeps the painting from getting damaged and it really does just make the painting more beautiful. So again, if you're interested, please just let me know. Again, email me. I will try my best to remember to put the email in this video. It will get a coat of resin and then it will be sent to you. I do want to thank everyone again for joining me one more time please 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 whether you're new or you're not new and you just haven't done it yet I would so love it if you would please like my video subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so that you know every time I post a video and until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Please stay safe. Bye.